So IPv4 was created in the 1970s by Vint Cerf and Robert Kahn, but it was actually introduced first to the public in 1981. And its purpose was just, it was just the first major internet protocol. Um, there are 4 billion possible addresses, but the problem is that there are 7.5 billion people in the world right now. So the trend, but despite the necessity for a new internet protocol, uh, the transition from IPv4 hasn't been smooth so far and nobody really wants to. All right, so IPv4 addressing is a 32-bit addressing system. Uh, technically, the largest available address is 255.255.255.0. Um, and so, for example, if we were to have the IP address of 192.168.1.1, the binary code would be 11000000.1.1. Dot zero 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 one and again zero 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 one. So that would be the binary. Um, so octets or uh, bytes are a eight bit binary address converted into decimal form, which is what you would see in the right corner. Um, and these uh, split into network and host portions using a subnet mask. Hmm. I I had a. Uh a bit of information on globally unique IPv4 addresses versus locally unique IPv4 addresses. And that's quite simple. In order to, for your IP address to be globally unique, meaning nowhere in the world is that IP address going to be the same, it would have to be something that anyone can look at, like a website or you know, the works. A locally unique IPv4 address is only so into a location, uh, and IPv4 is short for Internet Protocol Address Version 4. An IP has the same two pieces of information as a telephone number. By that, I mean your location, and I forgot the other one, but it basically has the same context of what you need, just like a phone and address. Other facts are that Deploying IPv6 is now a requirement. It's not just an option. It, the top level of exhaustion of, for IPv4 addresses was reached on January 31st, 2011. And it's predicted that every website is going to be ready for IPv6 by 2021. All right. Um, 